women are competitive, men are insensitive, women are who will save the world, men are not committed to their personal spiritual development. These are not my beliefs, but these are beliefs that I hear a lot. Hi there, Rachel Jane Groover here, and you're watching Awaken TV. This is the place where you get your weekly practice on presence, purpose, and practical spirituality. And what you believe about the opposite sex can give you great insight into why your life is the way it is right now. This week, I'm inviting you to explore your beliefs about the opposite sex. Because this is the first part of separation. When we're young boys and girls, this is the first time we feel an us and them. I'm a girl, you're a boy. Girls are silly, boys are rough. Which turns into women can't lead, men can't be trusted. It's important to feel our own separateness, our own uniqueness. It's, it's a good thing that you are separate to everyone else, but it is a fine line when that separateness comes into being because it's easier to judge other people. So I want you to write down right now three things that you believe that are negative towards the opposite sex. Three things. Now your rational mind, your conscious loving mind will know, oh, I'm just generalizing, but it's a belief nonetheless. I invite you to bring more attention and awareness to what you believe about the opposite sex, what you think and you say. But here's the most important part. How are you behaving with the opposite sex? Are you avoiding them? Are you hiding? Are you combative? The way that you're behaving to the opposite sex will be a doorway to determine what you really believe. At almost every Art of Feminine Presence intensive that we have, we get a woman stand up in the audience that says something like, you know, the men that I work with are intimidated by me or they get competitive with me and there's just an interaction that doesn't feel good. Well, this is a doorway to her beliefs about men. Possibly it's men don't honor the feminine. Not inherently true. Maybe it's men are insecure even though they have a brave front. Not inherently true. But these are a doorway to the beliefs that keep the patterns of your life in place. So this week, catch the judgment and ask, is this inherently true? Because with awareness, creates freedom. Freedom to create the relationships that you actually want versus the ones that your limiting beliefs are creating for you now. And go ahead and post a comment below. I'd love to know what has come up from this video. What insights do you have? What behaviors are running that share or show you what beliefs that you have. All of the interaction happens over at racheljane.com. So head over there now and leave a comment below. And if you like this video, subscribe to this channel and help us get the word out to people who are committed to their personal and spiritual growth. So feel free to share this video with them. And if you want more awesome resources that will help you awaken your impact, inspire change and create wealth, head over to racheljane.com now and sign up at the top of the page for email updates and the other resources there. And remember, however you're feeling today, whether you're feeling awesome, somewhere in the middle or not feeling great, everything is temporary. So stay as present as you can and enjoy each moment as much as you possibly can. Thank you so much again for watching and we'll see you next week on Awaken TV.